morning, everybody. My name is Peter, and welcome to Being Happier. Okay, I just want to mention a few things before we start the program. What we are sharing today is not from my personal wisdom, not from what my mother told me, uh, it's not my, my experiences in life, although these are very important for us to learn how to be happier. But very importantly, what I want to mention is that today what I'm going to share is the science behind all these things. So I want to mention, first of all, that I have a Bachelor of Science uh, in, in psychology and this is Bachelor of Science, not Bachelor of Arts, uh, Science. I want to mention science because what we're sharing is robust science. All right? And after my Bachelor of Science uh, in psychology, I did a graduate diploma in positive psychology. And that's where I developed my favorite subject, which is about health, optimism. And today we're going to talk about happiness. Who wants to be happy? Okay, so all very wants to be happy. How many of you are happy already? Okay. Okay, so yes, so we want to be happier, right? So we go back two slides. How to be happier? Increasing our happiness gives us improved health because we have lower stress, stronger immunity, longer lifespan, and better mental health. You know that already, right? You know that already, right? Uh, but the evidence I'm going to show you just reinforces certain things. Like, for example, uh, if, if you are happy, you know that you're, you have a lower stress and lower stress gives you stronger immunity. And people who are happier, the, the, robust, the, the data is very robust. People who are happier live longer, not just longer, but better lives. Number two, enhanced relationship. Do you know of somebody that's very grouchy? Don't look at the person on your left and right. Huh? Just look at me and say, huh? do you know somebody that's grouchy? How is your relationship with that person? Compared to somebody that is happy. And we did mention just now, right? Happy is not just happy, happy all the time. But some people who are just calm, but they have joy and contentment inside them, right? All right. And so, people who are happier, you build better relationships with them. And because you are happier, people have better relationship with you as well. All right? And the third one, and, and sometimes CEO uh, ask me, you know, hey, Peter, why should I need to make my staff happier? Well, uh, increased productivity and creativity. When someone scolds you, you become guarded, you will close up. When you are happy, you will open up and you become more creative. All right, so this uh, is our learning objective. We just want to be happier and they will give us all the benefits that come with being happy. So what are we going to cover today? Again, I'm going to emphasize the part that we are talking about science. And what is happiness? What is happiness? Julie? I would say like contentment. Contentment. And what is happiness to you? Stephanie? Peace. Ah, peace, right? And so, you see, all of us have a different idea of happiness and frequently we relate happiness to an emotion, right? An emotion, huh? but it is emotion, but it's a little bit more than that. So what is happiness? How to increase our happiness level? And then we'll talk a little bit more about other things, huh? maybe questions and what happiness is about. So start, let's start with medical science. Now, the journey of medical science, all right, uh, there are two parts to it, the physiology part. In other words, in the past when medical science is like when we are sick, when we're not feeling well, we see the doctor for a cure, right? But medical science has gone beyond that now. Sometimes when we are not sick, medical science can help us, right? Uh, to improve our lives. What about healthy eating? Exercise, what exercise works, what exercise doesn't work, right? So even though we are not sick, medical science has come in a way to help us improve our lives. Embraces of everything, huh? how they look, how they think, having a lifestyle, right? So this is a physical part, right? For psychology, the same is happening for the last 30 to 40 years from, from being uh, used to cure people to making their lives better. So in the past, when a person has PTSD, all right, uh, post-trauma stress disorder, or, or maybe they have uh, 
I have uh, ADHD, maybe they are depressed. So you see a psychologist or a psychiatrist, right, for help. And so when your neighbor hears that, hey, uh, hears that uh, another neighbor has gone to see a psychologist, what are you thinking? Yes, yes. And then there is a stigma, right, to people seeing a psychologist or a psychiatrist. Right? But not anymore, because in the field of positive psychology, psychology can be used to improve your life, how to be more resilient, or how to be more happy.